I don't even know him. I I'm just helping out. Sorry, you. So you can commence any treatment on him. You have to make advance payment of 20k. But you can say he's still unconscious. At least revive him, then I can make payment later. Ma, that's the rules of the hospital. There's nothing I can do about it. No payments, no treatments. Okay, can I have the details? Okay. You're awake. Who are you? Um, you are in the hospital. I found you on the road unconscious and I brought you here. Ah, uh, I was robbed. The... I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I was robbed. Do you have anyone to call? Oh, sorry. Uh, so, sorry. Let me call the doctor immediately, okay? Uh, then when I get back, you can call someone. Sorry. Mm. Ah. Hi, My boyfriend, he's rich, tall, handsome, very good looking. See, please, can you just ignore everything she said, okay? I am here to see my brother. I heard he was brought into this place. His name is Cass Coca. Yes. Oh, yes, please. Go straight down. By your right is what for this is. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, my baby. Oh, my bonita, bonita. Oh, my God, are you okay? Who did this to you? What did the doctor say? Do you have internal up again? Huh? Do you, say, do you? Say, can you actually stop? Can you stop breathing on his neck? You really had a rough day. Are you being serious? Well, I'm worried about him, though. You think you're the only one that is concerned? Is it not obvious I'm worried as well? But you have a funny way of showing it for someone whose brother had a near-death experience. Oh, ah, it's against being frantic and crazy okay, like please, yourself. Please, 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 please. I literally just had the worst day of my life. Ever. This is the last thing I need. You guys arguing. Please. I feel like I got run over by a car. Right? For no reason. Too sorry. See, I'm sure we're going to catch these men, okay? I already called all the security networks and they're on them already. I'm sure they'll catch them really soon. So sorry. Um, baby, you really need to leave this place. It's quite disgusting. I'm, I'm seeing flies everywhere, huh? It doesn't shoot you. Yeah, at least we're the first time I'll agree with her. This place is really messy. My brother should found in anywhere like this. <laughs> See, the thing is, I already called Dr. Roland, okay? And he's going to be on his way to the house, so I need to take you out of here. So, yeah. Um, I think we need to see the doctor so I can clear the bills before we leave. Oh, wow. Yeah, go oh. see him a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, um... Excuse me. <sighs> what happened to the patient in Ward 46? I just checked and he's not there. Oh. You are the lady that brought him? Yes. Well, his family came and took him away. Oh. And where did you go? I went to get some food for him. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom? Mom? Samantha? Mom? I'm greeting you. Daffy. I 
can hear you now. I can hear you. I'm not deaf. But you, you, you didn't answer. That's because I have a lot on my mind. I don't feel like talking. Okay, do you want to talk about it? Didn't you just hear me say, I don't feel like talking? You're making me repetitive. I don't feel like talking, no. Where's my food? In the kitchen. So, you want me to go and get it from the kitchen? Uh, sorry. Do you want it warm or cold? No, make it blocked. Ice block. I'm what kind of question is that? I'm just asking because... Asking me what? What are you asking me for? What kind of damn question is that? Go and get my food. You're asking me if, you, if I want it hot or cold. Everything's slow every time, making me talk. Hey. <laughs> um, Alexis. Alexis. What is it now? Can we talk? Talk about what? Look, I know we are not friends, okay? But for your brother's sake and the sake of our relationship, I think it's proper we are cordial with each other. Hmm? See, what I'm trying to say is let's get to know each other and... <laughs> <laughs> My God. Wait, did I, did I say something funny? Oh, you didn't know? My dear. You are funny. Like the whole of you is literally a clown. Trust me. You know, rather than staying in this whole house, being idle and spending my family's hard-earned money, why don't you just try to start up a career as being a stand-up comedian? Because you're really a clown, bro. You know what, Alexis? You better watch your mouth. Huh? Alexis, watch it. You spoiled brat. The next time you talk to me this manner, I swear to God, you won't leave oh, yeah! Please excuse me. What rubbish? My brother's house. I've always known that this whole soft voice, soft attitude, Prisca thing is all fake. See, you can deceive my brother for all I know. But you see me, you will never be able to deceive me. I will slap the living hell out of your face. Slap. I swear to God, I, I will slap sl you. Slap what? Are, Are you crazy? crazy? How dare you talk to me like that? I will crush you in Alexis. my brother's house. You're doing this with me because I'm here. I will beat the head. Hey. Ah! Oh, ah! Hey, what's wrong? Ah! What did you do? Ah! You hit us. I didn't hit her. What do you mean you hit us? She told me that she can cry. Babe, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? She, she what hit me. She, what? I didn't hit her. What did you hit her? Oh. What did you hit her? I was just joking. Like. Stop now, Casper. Well, you know me better. Well, I, mean, I don't know you. You are on my back. He's my girl. But it's fine. It's not fine. I'm tired of this. I'm not tolerating this for me. Maybe it's blessing my own girl in my own house. She's lying. I didn't touch her. You don't bully my girl in my own house. Huh? You're overstepping your boundaries. I think she put that tongue or something. Like she was the one trying to hit me. Because she's crying and I believe her. Why would you hit her? Why? I did not. She was the one trying to hit me. Oh, babe, it's fine. It's not fine. I've told her this nonsense for too long. I don't know what the problem with this guy is, but I don't care right now. Okay? We are not going to bully my girl in my own house. That's what's going to happen. I did not. No! You are not going to bully my girl in my own house. Oh, babe, it's fine, okay? I don't want you fighting your sister because of me. Please, let okay, it go. Because this is an assault. It's a crime. You go to jail for this. Okay? Yeah, I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, let's go, okay? I'll massage you, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, that's what I'll be having. Okay, babe, my ear. <laughs> You're that thirsty. My dear, I am. Where's my goddaughter? At her grandma's place. She came back from school insisting she wanted to spend the weekend with her. Oh, How is mama? It's been a while I saw her. She's fine, oh. 
she was here yesterday. She helped me mind Samantha while I went for the interview. Sorry about the interview. Honestly, I'm tired. Things were really going on well for me until I lost my job. I've been going for interviews and, and yet no job. What about Daffy? I hope he has been supporting the family now that you don't have a job. Well, his, his business is going through rough times. <laughs> when has his business not gone through rough times? Every day it's one excuse or the other. Yet you keep taking all his rubbish. Marry officially. No. He'd rather you remain a baby mama. Pay Samantha's school fees. No. How she and Nothing. Yet he lords over you, turning into a slave like he owns you. He's the father of my child. He should act like one and pay the bills rather than letting you handle everything. Okay, fine. Please, can we not talk about Daffy here? Now you're away Please. now. You always don't like talking about him. Anyway. That is not the reason I'm here. I have something for you. Something? What's this? Open it and see. Your office needs a receptionist. Yes. Rosa, our former receptionist, relocated with her husband. And so her position is vacant, but it's a small... Small, okay. Do, did you just say small? Babe, I can do anything as long as it's legal. I, babe, I'm not desperate. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay. I told MD so many things about you. Trust me, good things. And he asked that you meet the HR first thing Monday morning. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. What will I do without you? You're welcome. You're my girl and I got you. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Now enough of work talk. I am so hungry. Hope you have food in this house. Oh, don't worry. I got I you. Baby girl. Oh yeah. Oh, well, let me get worry. what you want. Anything. I know you like noodles. I'll make it spicy. Fries. Just the way you like it. You know, right? <laughs> okay, right away. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Tell me it's been a while. How are you? You saw who? Are you sure he's the one you saw? Because he traveled. Okay, all right. Thank you. Samantha is fine. Um, Dami, can I call you back later? All right, take care. Hello, Mom. Good afternoon. Mom, please, are you free? I want you to come over. I need your help. All right. Thank you, Mom. Gina, what is happening? I have to be somewhere right now, please. I want you to help me mind Samantha. Ah, don't forget that I will be going to the meeting today and make sure that you come back on time. I know, Ma. I know. I won't take time. So, where is my Samantha now? She's sleeping in her room. Ah. Mom, please. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, bye, my love. Bye. Okay. Right. Take care. Don't keep too long, go. I won't. Okay. Bye. All right. So you finally decided to see me today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you been running for you? No, it's, it's not that I'm running, I've been busy. You've been busy, you've been busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. huh? Too busy for me. <laughs> Daffy. 
Jinnah, what are you doing here? You told me you were traveling to Ibadan for business and you're here with another woman. Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Excuse me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What do you mean, what is wrong with me? You're here with another woman. You lied to me that you were traveling to her. She's the kind. She doesn't look like one. People that want to buy properties, how do they look like? Hmm? You know what? I'm not going to stand here and explain myself to you. Go home. Daffy. Baby girl. Is there a problem? No, 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 of course. Uh, <clears throat> oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is she okay? Yeah, she's good. My, my cousin. Oh, hi. Mm. <laughs> They're saying hi to you now. Respond. Ah. Uh -uh. Hi. <laughs> you know, sometimes she I'm surprised. It's okay. It's hey. Hey, um, what would you like to order? Um, I want catfish. Catfish? Yeah. Ah, ah, my girl. <laughs> For how long will you continue like this? That Daffy. He is always maltreating you, yet you don't want to leave him. Why? Mom, it's not that easy. Samantha needs a father. And I can't deprive her that. I understand. But what about you? What about your happiness? You cannot continue to live like this. To be honest, my daughter, it makes me feel bad. I, it hurts me a lot. Anytime I see you unhappy. Mom, I'm fine. Samantha is my priority. Happiness is all that matters to me right now. I am your mother. All I want is your happiness. Please, my daughter, open up your heart. Look for a good man who will care for you and cater for all your needs. Mom, no one wants to marry an unmarried woman with a child and you know it. You know what I have been through in the hands of these men. Once they find out I have a child, they leave. Mom, I have accepted my fate. Samantha's happiness. It's all I care about right now. Mom, you're back. Hey, baby, yes, I'm back. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> you're good, right? Mm? Did mommy give you food? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mommy, for coming around. Thank, Thank you, my you dear. So it's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Samantha will be turning 10 in a few months. Yeah, I know. Babe, I'm worried. We have been together for 11 years. We even have a child together, yet we are not married. I'm worried you're not setting a good example for Samantha. So the long and short of this speech is, is that you want us to get married? Yes. Well, I'm not ready, so get that thought out of your head. Samantha will be fine, you will be fine, everybody will be fine. Babe, babe, this issue has been giving me sleepless nights. <laughs> Please, we, it's important we get married. Let's have a real family. At least for Samantha's sake, every child deserves a complete family. Gina, what's, what's really giving you sleepless night? Marriage. Must everybody be married? Eh? Is marriage by force? Please, don't disturb me now. Ah, uh -uh. come on, I'm obviously not ready for marriage. What's stopping you? Is it money? Babe, I can, I can lend you money. I have been saving money for a while now. Oh, 
Oh, Gina. Oh, wow. So you've been saving money for marriage. But when I asked you for money, you said you didn't have. Babe, you know I can do anything for you. I can give you whatever you want, money inclusive. But, babe, you know I don't give you trouble. Gina, I'm going to say this for the last time. Do not disturb me about marriage again. Is there another woman? Daffy. Daffy, is there another woman? Daffy! Hey, newbie. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good, good, good. And the job? How's it going? Very well, sir. Good, good, good. Um, remember what we discussed about the first day, yeah? You know, if you ever need any help or anything, you know, come to me. I'll help you. Okay, sir. I mean it to, if you ever need anything, you know, just, you know, my office, you know. Give me a shout, all right? Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Babe, earlier at the office canteen, I heard rumors about the takeoff. Is it true? The management tried stalling it for a bit, but it seems that they've eventually given it. Ah, I hope this doesn't affect our job. Please, I can't afford to lose this job I managed to get. I honestly don't know. It's possible that they might lay off workers and bring in their people. But no one knows your plan yet. Ah, may God help us. Amen. I hope it doesn't get to that point. Abby? Yeah, may God help us. God will help us soon, please. Amen. Why are you standing there like a statue? Can we talk? Oh my goodness, what is it? What, what, what is it? What do you want to talk about? I'm surprised that you're not working at a radio station or hosting a talk show because you like to talk. Oh yeah, fine. Okay, talk. What do you want to talk about? Babe, the landlord called. He has been calling for a week now for his money. And I begged him to exercise a little patience. But babe, the thing is, I don't have any money to give him now. Wait. Are you telling me that you've not paid the rent? I don't understand. What are you waiting for? Please, go and pay the rent. Oh. I don't want that man to come here and embarrass me. Babe, please, can you lend me money? I promise I, I will pay you back once I get my salary. You say what? From where? Please, oh, I don't have money. I beg. Ah. Daffy, please. I said I don't have money. What do you... Are you joking? I can't believe that you've not paid the rent. Why? What's the problem? What's stopping you? Say you've been saving for marriage. Or you take some money from there and pay the rent. What's the problem now? You want me to leave this house for you? What's the issue? Let me tell you, for your information, men like me are very scarce. There are a lot of women standing by Waiting with open arms for me to come to them. I don't know this thing. I... Just... 
come on, pay for rent, pay for rent. If it's to save for marriage now, number one, champion, we'll see you there. Small rent you cannot pay. You must trust me, I beg. Baby. What's up? What's up, baby? 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 What's up, Okay, it's just that it takes a lot of effort and mental stress to make this money. Do you get me? So you need to cut down on how you spend it. That's all I'm saying. And you just go back from a trip like five months ago. Why do you want to go on another one? Wait, wait, Cass, hold on. Is what? there some other girl you're spending your money on? Because I don't uh, understand why you're lecturing me this way. It's morning. not about another girl. Like, it's not about any other girl. Right? It's just about how you spend money. You need to cut it down. <laughs> My boyfriend has money, yet okay. I can't spend it. Why? You know what? I can't do this right now. See you later, okay? But are you being serious, Cass? I'm serious, so you look nice. Wow. <laughs> Have you seen our new ogre? No. Why? My sister. You should see him. Oh, the guy is so handsome. If not that I married him, I would have shot my shot and damn all consequences. Huh? See, I'm serious. We had the management meeting this morning, and I can tell you that half of the women that room this morning have a crush on him. Ah, women. <laughs> this is my gender will not shame me at all. Nah, no, you wouldn't blame us. The guy is a hunk. Gosh, let me show you. Madam, you're a married woman. Uh. Hey. <laughs> you see, even you to your tight tongue. That was exactly how I felt when I first saw him. I couldn't utter a single word. Wait. This face looks familiar. Really? Yes, but I can't place it. Who's that? Your departmental head. Oh, oh, your hey. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I'm at the office reception. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Beep. I have to go. <laughs> Who? It's me, Priska. Maybe you're not looking bad at all. Th thank you. <laughs> not much has changed since the last time I was here. You're still living in squalor. What do you do? What do you mean I give to you? Oh, babe, come on. I'll take it easy on me. At least sit down now. No, 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 no. I don't have time. Please, Cass will soon be home. I don't know. You've been blowing up my phone. It's more calls and messages. What's up? I want you to end this job. What? You heard me. See, the, the plan is for you to date this guy for a few months. You know, get as much as you can get from him. Then we move to the next target. And you spent close to three years with him. I don't get. I'm, see, I'm not finding this phone in anymore. So yeah, end this. End it. All right, fine. I, I will end it. Don't worry. It's fine. Just give me a couple of days, all right? Couple of what? I don't want to believe you are deeply in love with this guy already. What? Me? Babe, why would you say, of course not? <laughs> Don't you understand again? You get the point, this Cassidy is a big fish and I need to eat him. I need to eat all his money before I can dump him just the same way I dumped others. Why are you acting as if you don't understand? Hey, eh? It's fine. To be very honest, the guy himself has become so, so annoying. Very, very irritating. Really? Ah, and that his sister, she's so, that one is a big witch. She's small but mighty. Witch! Yes, it's fine. I'm sorry about ah, all that. I don't understand what I'm going through in that house. Come on, baby. Mm. Um, babe, see, I don't really have time for this now. I can't stay long. Cass will soon be home. I need to leave now. Okay.
okay? Sweetie, not even a hug for your husband. Man is the one, okay? It's okay. That was a very lovely performance. I myself loved it. So what next? Um, I am going to send you your balance and I hope we never get to see each other again. Lexus, you're here. You came back from work early. Yeah, I did. I have something important to tell you. Is everything okay? No. What? Just listen. I knew there was something off about this girl from the start. I just couldn't place my fingers on it until I overheard a conversation. Then it struck me that she wasn't who she said she was. See, as soon as I heard the call, I had to contact somebody to follow her because I knew something wasn't adding up. Why are you disturbing me? What is it? I said, I'm coming. Calm down now. No, don't, don't try that. Don't try that. What is wrong with you? Calm down. I'm coming. Do you know how long it took me to get dressed? I'm coming, please. Yeah, hello? Um, she just left the house now, so follow her. After my contact got back to me about her husband, Shino, I knew I had to visit him. Unfortunately for me, he was greedy enough to strike a deal. <sighs> Shino? Yes? Alexis. Pleasure. Yeah, um, we should go somewhere to talk. <sighs> Just the little amount of money I wired into his account and the man sang like a canary, like truly there is no honor among thieves. This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! What is what's me? What is this? Bro, calm down. I can calm down! I've been sleeping with a married woman who's been fooling me. How do you expect me to calm down? How am I supposed to calm down? I almost bought a ring for her yesterday to propose. She's been feeding me for three years! Lexus, three years! I'm supposed to calm down. Sorry. Forget the phone! But where are you going to? Okay, what's the problem? Where are you coming from? Oh, 
I went to see a friend afterwards. I did some shopping. I got some nice stuff. You gotta check it out. Who's she now? Sorry. No, no, don't apologize. I asked you a question. I want an answer, not an apology. Who is Shino? I've never heard her name before. You're a wonderful liar. That's why I didn't figure you out in three years. You're a greater lion. Um, babe, calm down, please. Who is this person? Like, I've never. You don't know who that is? Huh? Okay, I'll show you who this person is. Babe, babe, just calm down. Let me explain, okay? I can explain. Three years. I can explain, okay? Three years! You made a fool of me for three years. I trusted you right. I gave you every single thing you wanted, and you played me for a game. You played me for a fool for three years. Listen, the housekeeper has packed your stuff. I need you to grab every single one of your belongings. Listen to me, I'm not done talking. Grab every single of your stuff and leave this house before I do something we we'll both regret. Nonsense. Nonsense. See, my brother might be so much of a gentleman, but you see me, it would be my pleasure to throw your things out of this house if you don't leave. Rubbish. You did this, right? Obviously I did. And you should have some shame rather than running your mouth. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, costly enough to get this stuff you can never have drink to buy. Rubbish. I deserve it. I'm pretty enough. Sir. Yeah. You sent for me. Yes, Gina. Sit. Sir, is there anything you want me to do for you? Gina. You know, why do you keep pretending? You, you, obviously, you do know what I want. Huh? I've shown you signs from the first day, the very first day we met that I like you. But rather, you choose to keep ignoring me. Why? Don't you like me? Sir, you're a good man. Like I told you the other day, I am in a relationship and you're a married man. I'm a good man. See, so, in other words, you're, you're turning me down, Abby. I'm sorry, but I have to. Please excuse me. I'll see. Mr. Buchi is asking you out. Mm. My dear, since the first day I got here. My memo now. He did the same thing to me when I first got here until he discovered I was married and decided to let me be. <sighs> Ignore him. He will eventually get the memo and leave you. But what did you say to him? I turned him down, of course. I told him I'm in a relationship. Please, oh, I can't cheat on my man. Ah. Daffy, is that my man? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Please, I love him. Respect that. You don't love him. You're only afraid that you will lose him. You're afraid that no man will want you because of your daughter. Ofuri, Daffy and I have been together for 11 years. You don't expect us to break off like that. I think you deserve a chance with a good man. A good man. <laughs> I see good men lined up for me. Hmm? No, do you see any good man lined up for me? You're saying this. Well, I don't blame you. You won't understand. You have a loving husband. So you don't know the struggles of a single mother. Look, Gina. You are a good man. And you deserve the chance to be with a good man. 
Euh, you too. Good morning, sir. Came visiting after taking a one week break. Welcome back, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed it. Yeah. So, um, how was your trip? It was great. You know, it was refreshing. That was exactly what I needed after that crazy experience. Yeah, true, true. I'm so glad you're back. I missed you. I didn't think I was going to miss you. I won't even lie. But I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> so. um, yeah. Obviously, you remember the robbery? Yeah. Remember the lady I told you that took me to the hospital? Um, yeah, is everything okay? Well, I saw her. What? Where? She's our receptionist. I know. You don't say. I'm, I, I was shocked. Did she recognize you? I don't know. Wait, are you going to tell her? I don't know. Maybe. Such a small world. It is. It's tiny. What are the chances that she was... <laughs> Do you get me? I was... Wow. Yeah. I guess his face or something. I don't know. You stop. Really? What do you want me to say? There are a million people... More than a million people in this city. Right. And she's working here. Do you get me? Hmm. True. Anyways, um, I'll just let you settle in. Why go prepare for our meeting in an hour time? Sure, 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 yeah. sure. Great. Okay. Nice seeing you again. Nice to meet you. Dad. Come in. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, these are the files you requested for. So, um, Why is she carrying it? They are potters. That's, that's their job, to carry heavy stuff. Why would you let a lady carry this? Well, she's a receptionist. Do you have an attitude? Are you giving me an attitude? No, no, no. Is that what this is? No, sir. Because this is not her job. She's a receptionist, not a potter. Potters carry heavy stuff. You don't treat a lady like this. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sir. Um, uh, Gina, please, you can, you can drop this and go. Gina? Sir? You can drop this. And... Thank you, sir. Bro, help! Are you... So this was your own contribution. Moving it from sideways to straight. That's it. That's what you did. She carried it all the way from there to here. Huh? What are you doing? Are you going to open the files for me? No, I was going to... Do you know what the files I'm looking for? Do you? Sorry, so I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Just do the right thing. Thank you very much. I service. You can go. No sense. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Um, I know you're surprised to see me. I'm sorry I came without any notification. You know, I got your address from HR. Hope you don't mind. Uh, 
No, sir. Great, great. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, yes, right. come in. Thank you. Thank uh, but, but my house is not really in a good condition. No, no, no. I totally understand. You have a kid. It's totally okay. fine. Yes. So where do I... Do you mind if I sit? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you, please sit. Okay, thank you. It's a nice place you have here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's really nice. Is that some answer? Yes, sir. How did you know about her? Well, I took a look at your file. Um, she's in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, is she around? Yes, she's sleeping in her room. Oh, okay. That's great. That's great. Uh, I know you're wondering why I'm here. Yes, sir. That's very honest of you. You know, I like that. Some people would have tried to be corny or deny it, you know? Um, okay. Well, first time I saw you, I was certain that I'd seen you before, right? So I started thinking, I put my mind to it. I don't know if you remember saving anybody that was robbed last year. I remembered yesterday at your office. That explains the reaction. <laughs> I just came to say thank you so much. I'm eternally grateful. That's fine. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. You know, I tried reaching you, you know, when I got out of the hospital, I couldn't reach you. I, I actually really tried, you know. I, I'm glad I've uh, finally gotten to say thank you. I understand. So what happened to the robbers? Were they arrested? Yeah, well, fortunately, my car has a tracker. So they were tracked down and arrested. Oh, you know? that's good news. Yeah, it is very good news. <laughs> yeah. Trackers. Yes, baby. I'm in the living room. Samantha. Hey. <laughs> she a little bit shy. <laughs> hey, Samantha. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> you have a lovely, charming girl here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Baby, this is my boss, Mr. Kaz. Well, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? Okay, um, sir, please excuse me. Oh, no, it's not an issue. Okay. Samantha! I can't rice. Hey, Gina. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. You're heading home? Yes, sir. Why don't I drop you off? Uh, no, sir. I'll just take it's it. It's not a problem. Okay, just come in. I'll drop you. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sure. All right. You just see belt. Better safe than sorry, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Are you okay? Do you want me to start off the AC or turn it down? No, sir. I'm You're comfortable? Fine. Yes. All right, great, 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 great. Yeah, you said you had an OND in business education. Yes, sir. Why not a bachelor's degree in business management? Uh, after my OND, I wanted to continue my studies, but something happened and I dropped. Do you mind telling me what happened? If you if you don't want to talk about it, it's totally fine. Okay, I don't want to cry and make you uncomfortable. Um, yeah. No, you don't have to. It's okay. It's okay. Sir, it's okay. Um, I. The thing is, I I gave my school fees to my boyfriend, my school fees for the entire year. And I also got pregnant. That was what happened. So your boyfriend is Samantha's father? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Okay. Would you like to go back to school? Um, no, no, sir. sir I'm too old for that. What? Says who? Nobody's too old to study. That's not a thing. You could do online courses, you know. You could get an online degree or a certificate course, you know. Online? Yeah, there are loads of degrees and certificate courses online from reputable universities too, you know. Oh. Okay, wait. If you are going back to school, what would you like to study? Management. Management. Yes, sir. We could get you a management course online, easy. You know, uh, from a reputable university, you fill it out if you like it, then you can go for a full fledged course, you know? Okay, sir. But how much will it cost? We're doing it together. Okay, so don't worry about the cost, I'll cover that. You, you, you will pay? Yes, I'll pay. Uh, sir, thank you so much, sir. It's not a problem. <laughs> Sir, but I don't know. I, I, I don't think my head can carry studying anymore. I, I don't think so. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'll take the I'll take the chance. Okay, I'll take the risk, quote unquote. Come on, you should take the chance too. Uh, you know, seriously. Okay, sir. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So when I get to the house, I'm going to look up management courses send them to you, you make a pick and we go from there. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Sorry, it's, not, it's not a big deal. You know? It's a favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I was waiting for you. What for? Don't play coy with me, Gina. You know exactly what I want. You see, I'm tired of waiting for you to make up your mind to date me. So I'm here to do that for you. So what do you want to do? Force me? I see you shamelessly throwing yourself cheaply at the boss. Well, news flash. You see, you're nothing but a common receptionist. Mr. Cass will never have anything to do with you. Do you hear me? Crystal clear. But unfortunately for you, you don't get to make that call. And I definitely do not pay you to harass my employees. Sir, 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 I, I, I can explain. Ah, uh, meet me at my office right now. What did you say? Why are you swearing? No vulgar words in this workplace! Yes, Leave me upstairs now! Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 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 I, I am... I am... I, I am sorry. This, this will never happen again. Eh? Sir, 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 this is the devil at work here. Hey, this is just the devil at work here. See? Sir, sir. Please, I need this job. My family will starve. My wife... You should I, have thought about them before you harass my staff. Why don't you think about that? I, I know, I know. All I'm asking for is a second chance. I swear, this will never happen again. This will never happen again. I beg you. No, I beg don't you. tell. Don't act. Why are you apologizing to me? That's your apology to the right person. Did you hear me? Are you deaf? Gina, 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 I, I'm begging you. Uh, I, I am sorry. I, I apologize. Please. I, I, I don't know what came over me. Please. It's okay. I have forgiven you. Thank you. I want to relieve him of his duties. It's up to you. Huh? Do you want him to go? Because he could go right now. Or do you want a second chance for him? A second chance, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. You're very lucky. But one more mistake like I did today and you're gone. Ah, not at all, sir. This, sir this, this, this will never happen again. It's okay. This will never happen it's again. It's okay. I, I said it's okay. Now, ah, what's this now? Guy, uh, a second chance, really? Are you sure? Yes, he's a family man. Getting another job in this country is hard. I'm sure he learned his lesson. Have you had something to eat today? No, 
No? Let's go grab something. No, no, no I... Uh, what? People are watching. I don't want us to send the wrong impression about... Who us. cares what they're thinking? Nobody cares what they're thinking. Well, I do. I don't want to be... I don't want to be further for gossip here. Oh. So two friends can't go and pick up something to eat. Innocently, we can't eat. No. Not when it's a boss and his employee. People are... People are watching. They will talk. Please. Thank you for your timely intervention today. That's totally fine. Okay. Uh, I have work to do. You're a nice person. You know that, right? Thank you. <laughs> so, I have work to do. Yeah, you're going to go and work on an empty stomach because you know what you are eat. Take care. All right. All right. Hold on, please. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> hey. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Yes. What up, Samantha? At my mother's place for the weekend. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. And your studies, how's that going? Going on very well. Great. Great. Um, well, I got you this. Uh, Come on, take it. Open it and see what it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I a just, laptop? Yeah. You know, I figured that it would be difficult studying on your phone, so this might be more convenient for you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm speechless. It's I don't nothing. Even know what it's to nothing. Say. It's nothing. It's nothing. I totally understand how you feel. Um, do you mind if I say it? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't forgive my manners. I, no, it's okay. I, I was just um, <laughs> carried away. Thank you so much. It's okay. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Portable, just the way I like it. Yeah, I wanted it to be convenient for you. you know, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, do you mind if I take a look at what you're studying? Uh, yes, yes. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me just get the books. All right. <laughs> I've been here a couple of times, but um, I've never seen your daffy. He's hardly around. His yeah. work takes him out of town. Okay. Thank you. For what? For helping Samantha with her homework and playing with her. Come on, that's nothing. Samantha is very lovable, you know? She's my buddy now. Paddy, paddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Can... Can I hug you? I'm sorry. I'm 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 very sorry. I I'm sorry to ask. No, 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 no. I mean, it's you know, it's just I don't want you getting the wrong impression of us. You know. I'm sorry. I mean, we're friends. You know, friendship is all I want. So. 
I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I have to head out now. Uh, okay. See you tomorrow at work. Face him at work tomorrow. Just more help. You're already asking for hog. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Daffy, I am talking to you. Where have you been? Daffy, where are you coming from? Daffy, I am talking to you. Your daughter has been sick. I called you several times. I even sent you messages. You didn't answer. What kind of a man are you? Daffy, where have you- Are you dumb? Since when did this start? When did you start questioning me? Bumped into a door. Come, why are you covering up for him? Do you want him to kill you? Look at your face. What's this? Do you love him that much that you let him hit you and endanger the life of your daughter? Think, think about Samantha right now. Okay, she doesn't need that man in her life. She'll be much better if he's out of the picture. Okay? You don't want her growing up with his behavior affecting her. She could be traumatized. This is. Move in with me. Sir? Yes, move in with me. I have a big enough house, empty rooms. You can pick whichever one you want. You can pick multiple rooms if you want, if it makes you comfortable. Okay? I'm sorry, sir. I can't. Yes, you can. You can. I was going to get you another apartment, but he's probably going to find you and force his way into your life again. Uh, sir, I can't move in with you. Why? I, it's wrong. Yeah. What if my colleagues learn of it? Who cares what they... Nobody cares what... Okay, if you're not moving into the main house, why don't you move into the boys' quarters? Okay, it's big enough. You're going to be comfortable. It's empty. There's no one there. TVs, everything. You'll be good. No, sir. It's the same thing as moving in with you. I can't. I'm sorry. Do you want me to arrest him? Mm -hmm. I, no, for assault. Because that's assault. He needs to be arrested. No, sir. Just, just let him be, please. What's your weekend like? It's free, sir. I'll see you this weekend. Okay, sir. Sorry about this. We're going through. Thank you, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow. <laughs> Your house is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please have a seat. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to maintain a theme, but I don't know how good I did. <laughs> uh, wait, what can I get you? What do you, what do you want? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? You can't have nothing. It's your first time in my place. Okay, water. What well, water is not enough? Okay, I had my chef do really nice stuff for you. For me? For you, of course, for you. Uh. Um. 
You know what? Um, okay. I, uh, I've been wanting to say something for a while, but I've been waiting for the right time, so I might as well just say it now. I know I said I just wanted to be friends. Well, that was a lie. Thing is, I'm scared. I was. Because my ex did a number on me. <laughs> I was way too cautious about getting into another relationship, you know? Okay, what I'm trying to say is that... <laughs> hey, sis. Good day. Cass, what's going on here? Why do we have the receptionist in your pal and why are you two holding hands? Um, okay. Alexis, this is Gina. Okay, Gina is a very close friend of mine. She's very important to me. And Gina, this is Alexis, my sister. I know you guys already met, but that was on a business level. Oh, this is personal. Personal? Yes. Caspis, can we talk inside? No, we can't talk inside. Okay, I have a guest to entertain. We can talk later. A guest? Yes. The receptionist is your guest. Are you serious? I'm very serious. So the reason why you asked me to come back home was to meet your receptionist? Cass, I thought you had learned your lesson. You swore after what happened with Priska, right? That you were never going to go low. And this is you going lower. Stop. Stop. I'm not Stop! Okay? I won't let you disrespect my guest in front of me in my own house. That's not happening. You disrespected me the minute you asked me to leave work and come here to see this thing. What are you And you, I know women like you, desperate, low lives, hungry women like you, looking for rich men to use. But you see my brother here, he is not That's enough. The That's enough. Man, That's enough. don't touch me. Hey, I'm not trying to touch you. Say one more word and you're out of this house. What is wrong with one you? One more word from you and I'll kick you out of my house. That's what's wrong with me right now. You are what's wrong with me. I thought you've learned. What are you talking? Why are you still talking? I can't do you've not learned from what I said. I said one more word and you're out. I I'm sorry, I can't do this. I have to go. No, 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 Gina, Gina, no, 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 there's no way there. What are you doing? Gina, what are you? This is not necessary now, Gina. What, what is your problem? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Gina! Hey, Alexis, what's that about? Huh? What? What, 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 what? I'm not in the mood right now. Do not play coy. My patience is running thin. You made me a promise. See, the be nice. Two seconds after I got in here, my guest left and she was what? upset. What guest? I saw no guest, okay? All I saw was an opportunity trying to dig her thumbs into our family world. What is wrong with you? You should be thankful I even set out of this house. Ah! Huh? The last thing you need in your life right now is another Prisca. Why can't you see it? Okay, I need you to listen to me when I say this. I do not need you in my life, meddling in my personal business. Okay, I can handle it myself. I'm a grown man. I don't need your help to save me. You're not acting like it, okay? Considering that these days it looks like you have a thing for low lives. <sighs> you know, it's funny. Whenever you talk about class or status, I laugh. Because you were the one hurling insults at her and she didn't say a word back to you. That's the definition of class. I don't understand. How, how, how does that... Let me break it down to you because you, you're thick. You're thick. You don't understand. It's not about how much you have in your account. It's not about how many designer shoes, wristwatches or whatever you have. It's about how you carry yourself. And I have to be honest with you. She beat you hands down. Oh, please. Yes. See who I'm looking out for. What is wrong with you? You're looking out for me. Thank you very much. Nonsense.
Cina. Cina. Can we talk? I'm sorry for hitting you. Okay, I, I don't know what came over me. I shouldn't have done it. Jenna, please say something. What do you want me to say? Anything but your silence. It's killing me. I don't have anything to say to you. I know you have every right to be mad at me. I've been a bad partner, a bad father to our daughter. And I'm sorry. Okay, please give me another chance to make it up to you. I promise it, it won't happen again. Daffy, you hurt me. I know. Okay, I know. And I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay, I promise it will never happen again. Okay? I'm really sorry, okay? Hmm? Hmm? My baby. My love. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hmm? I have forgiven you. Yeah? But it's just that... <clears throat> I, I don't... I don't even... Babe. I have something. I don't know why it took this long for me to do this, but it's high time for you, Samantha, and I to become a real family. Baby, please marry me. Hmm? <laughs> ah, it fits perfectly. Hmm. My queen. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. <sighs> mm. Ooh, wifey. <laughs> I love it. Mwah. You, you are shocked, right? Short of words, right? <laughs> hey, bro. So I got used to this girl. What? He took his ring. Why? I didn't take his ring. He just slipped it into my finger. What was I supposed to do? Remove it. That's what I expected you to do. And here you are still wearing it. <sighs> what kind of hold does this guy have over you? Ufure, you can't blame me that much. I'm tired of being a single mother. Besides, Dafe is Samantha's father. Better the devil you know than some men. Um, that I don't even know if they, they will take care of my daughter. And the boss, I thought you two were getting close. What happened? <sighs> oh, Furey. Cassidy and I are, we're not in the same social level. The most we can be are friends. Hello, guys. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, Gina. How you doing? Fine, sir. Yeah? That's yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just okay. All right. Wait, what's we can be just friends? Meanwhile, the look I just saw was nothing friendship like. Anyways, what do I know? I'm going back to my office. See you later.
Come in. So you asked to see me? Yes. I, um, I have something very important to ask him, say. But first, I have to do this. Here's the key. You can leave whenever you get uncomfortable. We can't. Why? Why? What's wrong? What? I... I love you. I do. Honestly. You're the most hardworking, kind, amazing mother to the most amazing daughter. And I'm not just saying that. It's not hyperbole. I actually mean that. I wouldn't change a single thing about you, even if I could. Because you're perfect for me. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? Is it Alexis? That's not, she's not a problem. That's not, no, I'll handle, I promise you, I'll handle Alexis. No. What? What's I, the problem? Because of this. Because of what? This. Is that what I think it is? That he proposed. And you accept it? Go accept it after everything puts you through. How? Do you still love him? It's complicated. Do you love me? It's not that simple. Okay. 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 I need to be, I need, I need, I need, uh, honestly, I need to be left alone right now, please. But... <laughs> okay, it's fine. You, you're sure you're okay? I literally just said I want to be left alone. Please don't make me be this person. I don't want to be rude. How long are you going to keep ignoring me now? I was only trying to protect you. I am sorry. Well, what exactly are you sorry about? Huh? I am sorry for speaking to your guest rudely and disrespectfully, okay? I know I shouldn't have spoken to her like that and it was low of me to have done that. It actually was. 
It was low of you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's what's under the bridge. Just moved on with someone else now, so it doesn't even matter. Alrighty. Um, is there something I can do? Can I? Can There's I nothing you can do. You can't talk to her. You can't do nothing. Okay, because she's engaged. Oh. That ship has sailed. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <sighs> What's going on? Uh, uh, babe, what's up? I uh, I was hoping that you have some money I could borrow. You should have asked me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to return it later. Yeah. It's fine. I'll, I'll sort it out myself. A minute, please. Um, I know I spoke to you wrongly, and I am really sorry for that. It's okay, ma. All is forgiven. Okay. Um, see, the thing is, my brother's ex-girlfriend, she was all shades wrong. I don't know if he told you about her. Yeah, so um, since then, I have been overprotective about him. My brother has such a good heart and people just tend to take advantage of his feelings. I am not taking advantage of him. I would never do that. Do you, do you love my brother? It's complicated. I'm engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. But... Do you love him, your fiancé? We have a daughter together. Yeah, I, I know that. It's, is that why you're getting married to him? Um, look, I'm, I'm so sorry, okay? I, I know it's not actually in my place to tell you what to do, but um, my brother, he loves you very much. And I, I think that if the feelings are actually mutual, then... Um, You'll be making the wrong decision by getting married to this man. Why are you saying this? You don't like me. I do not hate you either, okay? I don't just want my brother getting hurt like he did with his ex. But now, I have decided to respect his feelings as long as he's happy. And um, I think you make him happy. Um, I have a meeting, so I need to leave now. Okay, Please do think about what I talk to you about. All right. Thank okay. you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Gina is making a very big mistake by this man. I am tired of talking. I have talked and talked and talked, but she wouldn't listen to me. Ever since she met this man, her life has never been the same again. I wish there was a way we can stop this madness. Hmm. Hmm. Meanwhile, I, uh, I spoke to my uncle about officially coming to see your people for the wedding list. And he suggested that 28th is a better date compared to the 26th that you and I agreed on. <laughs> he even asked if I wanted a December wedding and I told him that... I can't do this. What? Duffy, I can't marry you. 
I have tasted real love. And it's nothing like what we share. Tasted real love? Where? With who? What are you, what are you talking about? This, you've, you've always wanted this, Not right? anymore. Not with you. Look, you have never loved me. We only came together because I got pregnant by you. To you, I will always remain that naive young girl that you can control. The one you can leave off. But not anymore. Listen. Samantha needs to grow where there is love and support. And you and I together can't give her that. I'm sorry it took me so long to say this. I have to go. There is somewhere I need to be. Love you. I I really do. What about Daffy? I returned the ring. doing here? We need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. We have said everything we needed to say to each other. There's nothing left. Look, if you think you're going to dismiss me the way you did the other day, then you're very mistaken. Let, let go hey, of let me. Go, you're hurting let go, me. Let her, let, her let her go. Let her go. Okay? And who the hell are you to think you can tell me what to do with my woman? Your woman? I see you're not just stupid, you're deranged. You've been dumped, boy. Get it through your head. You must really think you're something, huh? I don't think I'm something. I am something. Something you'll never be. I treat women like they should be treated. Can huh? you say that about yourself? No, you can't, okay? And I have the best security personnel, the best lawyers, and the best judges on speed dial. Could have had you locked away a long time ago, if not for this beautiful woman. Pleading on your behalf. So do not test me. Watch yourself. I want to see my daughter. What daughter? The one you abandoned? The one you didn't care if she's dead or alive? Still my daughter. Hey, if I were you, I would ask politely. It's not your right right now. I want to see Samantha. She doesn't want to see you. She said so herself. Liar! Hey, 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 hey. Watch how you... Please, watch how you speak to my woman, okay? Why are you looking down? I'm touching your chest. Yeah, so what? Hey, I said watch how you speak to my woman. Are you okay? Listen, I am not lying, okay? She doesn't want to see you. 
But if at some point she decides to see you, I will let you know. But for now, stay away from my daughter. See this? See this little show that you and this, this one is putting on? It's far from over. Okay? Very far from over. I'm going to make sure that my lawyers take this up. Are you sure about that? It was a legal battle. Are you ready? Huh? Because I'm ready. Speed dial, remember. Jenna, read my lips. This is far from over. Yeah, step back. You're too close. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. You can talk to me if you want to talk some more. We shall see. I thought so. You okay? Yes. Sorry about that. I'm fine. Okay? Yes. You look beautiful. You look better than fine. Yeah? Alright, let's head out. Gina, you mean the absolute world to me. Ever since you came into my life, I've been happier than I've ever been. I can't imagine going on this journey of life without you by my side. You marry me, you mean the world to me. Would you? Please, enter the passenger seat. Yes! <laughs> Mary. Yes, baby! <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too, Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Oh, Congratulations, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, man. You. Hey, remember, remember, remember? Re nah. Remember? <laughs> she remembers. <laughs> baby. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> yes, we should. Yeah.